Let's have a look at our boy Danya Nerditsky. So Danya is playing the Joe Bava London with the move knight c3 on move 2. To prepare the move e4, black generally plays the move d5 and white, follows up with the move bishop f4. But in this game, black went c5, d5, d6. So here we get some sort of old Benoni defense. White does not have the pawn on c4, but sometimes that is in white's favor because a knight can come to d2 and c4. But I don't like what Danya did here because he allowed the move b5. I think black should have played it and he had a good position. But black castle and now a4, good move, stopping the move b b5 and black here is really cramped for space so bishop h2 guess he wants to go rookie 2 and e4 looks really really pleasant for white all right rookie one has just been played okay so Danya is really um preparing to move e5 here let's see what black will do i mean 95 is an option but it doesn't look uh, that great go c4 bishop back um, e5 is still very much on the cards here for white. Let's see what black will play here. Maybe queen c5 to prepare to move b5 makes sense. Also, if e5 ever happens, then you're not in this diagonal of the bishop. So let's see. I mean, knight c5, e5 looks really good for white. Actually, knight c5 also hangs this pawn in the future. And if black can get in this move, that would be good. Okay, so rook d8 played. Um... Perhaps something like knight d2, hitting this pawn over here, which now is very vulnerable. Daniel going queen e2. Still very difficult to protect this pawn here. I mean, knight d2 is coming as well. I mean, yeah, rook c8, knight d2. Does not look good for black. Okay, knight d2 now. Rook 81 by Daniel. Okay, so maybe he wants to go rook d4, hit the pawn this way. Or maybe still knight d2. Okay, so b5 played by black. But the question is, is this going to work out? White can take and take. Black will go queen b6, hitting the knight. And if the knight moves the pawn on b2, hangs. But, I mean, this pawn on c4 is also always still weak. So Daniel takes, queen b6. Knight b to d4. Aha, so if black takes on b2, there's the move rook b1, hitting the queen, and you collect the bishop on b7. So you cannot do that. Knight c5 played, hitting the pawn on e4. e5, hitting the knight. But that does hang this pawn over here. But if black takes, then we take the pawn on d6. And if black recaptures, the rook will be hanging. So take takes. All of Daniel's pieces are really active here. And it feels like this should work out in his favor. Bishop takes d5, knight takes c4. Take take. Okay, so black can maybe try to do a discovery with this knight. But the question is where? Queen takes b2. Alright, does white have a trick here? We maybe have rook b1. Queen a3, rook a1. Queen b2, rook b1. And the queen should just be trapped there. So let's see what black will do here to cook up some tactics. But yeah, queen a3, rook a1, queen b2, rook b1. Uh, looks winning for white. So let's see what charge Max is going to come up with here. Queen a3 played, rook a1. Yeah, and queen b2, rook eb1. The queen is simply trapped. There's nothing black can do. Alright, so let's see. Um, yeah, it's looking, it's looking tough. I don't think black has a move here because the queen is always protected by the bishop. So if you move the knight, you don't really have a discovery. I mean, I just take, and if black takes, we recapture and we're up a rook. Uh, so let's see. Dian also still has two minutes on the clock, black getting below a minute. So everything is looking really, really good for uh, for Dian and Erditsky. Queen to b2 played. Okay, rook eb1. Yeah, good move. Alright, so let's see what black will do. Maybe move the knight somewhere, but still it feels like you're just going to lose material. He takes an a1. Okay, but now you're just down a queen for a rook. Knight e6 played, hitting the queen. And this knight on e4. Still some tactics. Because if this queen moves, maybe you take and move this knight out of the way. Uh, hitting the queen and the rook. But there should be a way for white here. Knight c6, very nice move for, by Dania. If knight at d8, then knight takes c7. And you collect the rook on c8. So... And actually, knight c7 is a threat. If black allows it, the game is simply over. If it wasn't already. And black resigns. So Daya moves to 2 out of 2. Very nice game. So let's see what else we have. So we have Dimitri.